Hello students, this is a short video on the topic of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And these were two groups that are, are, were around at the time of Jesus. They come up frequently and it's important to have some understanding of who they are because uh, they're in the background uh, and sometimes in the foreground of a lot of scenes of the New Testament. It also gives you some idea of the diversity that existed within Judaism uh, at, at the time of Jesus. Okay. So first of all, getting to know these two groups, who were they? Well, the Pharisees where at various times, you know, the, this name applies to a group that was a political movement, it was a religious movement, it was a social movement, but uh, very much focused on the reform of Jewish life. And this was a political, religious, and, and social reform. But at the heart of it was the idea of, of Israel going back to God, Israel restoring its, uh, restoring its integrity, which they thought it had been lost through sin, through political scandal. And interestingly, it was the Pharisees that supported Rome when they... Uh, when the Romans came. Uh, in fact, it was said that the Pharisees were the ones who opened the gates of Jerusalem to them. And when the Pharisee, or when the Romans finally made it into the temple area, some of the Pharisees ran in and killed some of the priests who were currently serving there. And this was in large part because they thought the Hesmosian dynasty, which was the, the Jewish dynasty that ruled Jerusalem for those hundred years of independence that they enjoyed, that they were very corrupt and the priests were very corrupt and they thought they thought the fact that the the romans had uh, desecrated the temple was god's punishment and his judgment on um, the the people at the at the time who were ruling now on the flip side of that you had the sadducees who were uh, generally opposed to the romans they were a priestly group uh, very aristocratic and they they their focus was on temple worship and so they did not uh, see eye to eye with the Pharisees. These groups were uh, very opposed. And interestingly, um, it was the Pharisees who initially supported Herod the Great. Uh, eventually, they, they turned against him and he turned against them. But initially, they really supported him and the Sadducees uh, did not. Now, these two groups also had quite, a, quite far apart on a number of really big theological questions. Um, for instance, the Pharisees thought that the soul was immortal, that uh, the dead would be raised, uh, that they believed in the existence of angels, and they also believed in the oral tradition in addition to the Torah. So the Torah is the first five books they believed in the oral tradition. They also believed in the wisdom literature, in the prophets and the writings. So they accepted these works, whereas the Sadducees rejected all of that. They said, mm -mm, no, thank you. So you had a very, very broad um, a very kind of diverse point of view or, or a very polarized point of view on a lot of these very big questions. Now, interestingly, after the Romans come in again in 70 AD and destroy the temple, 40 years after Jesus' own death and resurrection, what the Pharisees are basically wiped out because the temple is the center of their power, their focus, and everything. And, and when that's gone, they're gone. The Judaism that survives is Pharisaic Judaism. So the Jews that we know today uh, and that we see today are all descendants of the Pharisees at the time of Jesus. And it was their brand or their flavor of Judaism, which is the one that, that survived up until the present time. So that's just a basic introduction of the Pharisees and the Sadducees.